Hi, I'm Amanda from The Hot Plate, and today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making a lemony tuna pasta. This dish is actually called pasta limone, but in our version we're going to be using a tin of tuna and some bow tie pasta. Now, the thing I love about this dish is that it actually uses very few ingredients, but most of them are pantry staples, and we've got all of our ingredients right here. We've got four tablespoons of a softened goat's cheese, one packed cup of baby spinach, two cups of bow tie pasta, one tin of flaked tuna, one lemon, and some salt and pepper. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. Add one tablespoon of kosher salt and then add in your pasta. You could use any type of pasta but make sure to check the manufacturer's directions because we want to cook this until it's al dente, which depending on your pasta could take anywhere from 4 to 11 minutes. Once the pasta is cooked, we're going to scoop out one cup of the starchy pasta water and set it aside for later. Then drain your pasta in a colander and dump it back into the pot over medium heat. And add a cup of the starchy pasta water that we saved. Add the tuna and the spinach, then the goat's cheese, season it up with some salt and pepper, and zest in a little bit of our lemon zest. We're then going to stir it until it's completely combined. Now we're ready to serve. Our lemony tuna pasta is all ready and I'm so excited. This is a great and healthy meal that comes together in just 10 minutes and it's perfect for lunch because it can sit at your desk since there's no cream or mayonnaise in it. Now I need to dive in here and get my first big bite. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. That pasta is perfect. It's just al dente enough. That creaminess from the goat's cheese binds all of that powerful protein tuna and that beautiful lemon zest that we added to it. It's bright, it's fresh, it's perfect for lunch or dinner. So thanks very much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes and recipes at thehotplate.com and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.